ad came up and I just went, really? Skims made for everybody. Clothing that is adaptive takes into consideration things like a person being unable to reach behind and unclasp a bra. I don't really understand how far we're gonna take this inclusivity thing. Just getting tired of this all inclusivity thing, it seems ridiculous. You're appalled by a company choosing to consider those with disabilities. I would urge you to check your ableism. When I see stuff like this, I just go, whose idea was this? Was it your idea? Okay, you're fired. It doesn't affect you. And if it does, the way that it should affect you is by providing you with more insight. I think they think this is stupid. When we know better, we do better. So let's do better. Let's talk about inclusivity and adaptive clothing. For those of you who are new, my name is Hillary. I'm a former pediatric physical therapist and I'm the mom of a medically complex baby girl. Part of my job as a physical therapist was to know the specific needs of my patients, the things that they had difficulty with in doing what we call activities of daily living. I often worked very closely with occupational therapists to figure out what kind of equipment or clothing my patients needed in order to be as independent as possible. And now I'm on the other side of things as a caregiver. Until you yourself experience having a disability or work closely with people who have disabilities or care for somebody who has a disability, you don't understand the mental, emotional, and financial toll that it takes to get equipment that meets your needs and allows you to be as functional and independent as possible. For so long, the world has not thought of the needs of people who are disabled. And now you have companies who are coming out with products specifically for people with disabilities. And rather than praising these efforts, we have people saying stuff like this. Ad came up and I just went, really? Are we really doing this? Is this what we needed? Take a look at this, ready? So it is a Skims campaign and it is a woman that is in a bra and underwear. Skims is the undergarment brand that is owned by Kim Kardashian. She's in a bra and underwear and she's in a wheelchair. She's in a wheelchair and it says Skims made for everybody, available now. Really? That's all I'm gonna say is really. I don't, I don't really understand how far we're gonna take this inclusivity thing. I really don't get it. I don't know and if I'm wrong, again, educate me. Today I just wanna be educated in the comments. If people that are in wheelchairs were thinking as they were looking around, like, you know what really upsets me that I've never seen a bra and underwear advertised with a girl in a wheelchair. Why did they do this? I don't know. I don't know why this needs to be done. I'm just getting tired of this all inclusivity thing. It seems ridiculous. What seems ridiculous? I mean, is it the fact that you don't want to see people in wheelchairs modeling underwear? Or do you simply not understand why people in wheelchairs or with differing mobility needs would need clothing that is designed for them? Clothing that is adaptive takes into consideration things like a person being unable to reach behind and unclasp a bra and instead offering a zipper in the front, or somebody who might not have use of both of their hands and need a zipper that is a one-handed zipper. We will likely be looking into adaptive clothing for our daughter soon because she's scheduled to have a surgery for a G-tube. And we will need clothing that allows that tube to be easily accessible, but also to remain clean and protected. When brands take the time to consider these needs and to include people who have disabilities, that's something that should be praised, not ridiculed. Now, I'm not here to talk about skim specifically or the controversies surrounding the Kardashian family. This is not what this video is about. It's about the ableism that people like Candace Owens are showing when they say things like this. In what way is it an inconvenience to Candace Owens or anybody else when a company chooses to include people with disabilities in their advertising or to consider them in designing clothing? The reality is it doesn't affect you. And if it does, the way that it should affect you is by providing you with more insight. It should be an opportunity for you to learn about the differing needs of people around you because empathy starts with awareness and is one of the highest forms of emotional intelligence. But beyond all of that, I just have to wonder in what way videos like this and opinions like this reflect 
the love of Christ. I don't know specifically what Candace Owens' religious beliefs are. I can't find anything that explicitly states that she's a Christian, but she's at least like Christian adjacent and has talked many, many times about the values of the Bible and things like that. So I just find it interesting that for somebody who at least believes the Bible to be a good reference when we are talking about moral issues, that this would be your response. Because Jesus treated people with disabilities with compassion. When the disciples tried to imply that a man's blindness was due to his sin or somebody else's, Jesus quickly corrected them. People with disabilities were often ostracized by society, but Jesus included them. So if you are somebody who thinks this way about people with disabilities having a clothing line specifically designed for them, and yet you call yourself a Christian, I'd like to know what fruits of the Spirit you are modeling when you are expressing those opinions. Opinions like this continue to perpetuate ableist views. They perpetuate a narrative that people with disabilities don't deserve to be seen. And what a sad and hateful viewpoint that is. Our differences make the world a more beautiful place. So if you're appalled by a company choosing to consider those with disabilities, I would urge you to check your ableism. Spend more time listening and less time talking. Listen to those who experience life differently. Hear their needs and consider ways in which you can help meet those needs. And even if you can't, at least give them the opportunity to be heard. When we know better, we do better. So let's do better.